The Indian Air Force has released a footage of the Red Flag 2024, which is a realistic air combat training where fighter pilots refine skills against numerous targets authentic threats and adversary forces. Pakistan's efforts to conceal a JF-17 Block II crash was thwarted by Martin Baker, which confirmed the crash and successful pilot ejection. Naib Ordnance Global Limited has received a letter of interest from Munitions India Limited for the supply of 2.5 lakh units of 155mm M107 empty shells worth 682 crore rupees. Cadet Defence Systems is developing a loitering munition with a payload capacity of 40 kg, that will have an impressive range of 150 km on radio frequency, and a much larger range if they are satellite-based. Goa Shipyard Limited has signed the export contract with a Luxembourg-based group, for the construction of next generation of trailing suction hopper dredgers. India and US are likely to resume discussions next week on the co-development and local production of India-specific striker armoured vehicles. The DRDO is procuring propellant castings, that are specifically designed for the dual pulse rocket motor of precision-guided long-range surface-to-air missile, that will start trials later this year. After a minor delay, India and France have started negotiations for the price and other related issues for the 26 Rafale Marine fighter deal for the Indian Navy, that is likely to be worth over 50,000 crore rupees. India's ambitious plan to see significant industrial benefits from the 36 Rafale fighter jet deal with France appears to be faltering. While the government remains tight-lipped on the issue, and with minimal public information available, it's unclear if India is receiving the promised industrial benefits from the 36 Rafale deal. Experts also warn of minimal progress on the ground, despite demanding the highest ever offset clause at 50% of the contract value. Reports have indicated that the price of 26 Rafale Marine will be same as the previous 36 Rafale deal, even when there is no offset regulations or technology transfer in the new order. Dassault will adjust for inflation from 2016 to 2024, but around 30 to 40 percent inflation in just eight years will make the 26 Rafale M deal as expensive as the old one. India's AMCA fifth-generation fighter program is exploring the potential of 3D printing to revolutionize its production process, as this integration of additive manufacturing technology could lead to significant advantages in terms of cost reduction, turnaround time, and minimal material waste. Hindustan Aeronautics is actively seeking partnerships with private sector companies to leverage their expertise in 3D printing, as achieving a high-quality finish is critical for a complex stealth design. Internal discussions within the Indian Navy reportedly favor a four-aircraft carrier fleet, as this configuration would enable strategic deployments across key regions. That includes the Arabian Sea, the Bay of Bengal, the Indian Ocean region, while the fourth carrier undergoes maintenance or refit. Navy officials have hinted at the possibility of concurrently developing two 65,000-ton carriers after 2030, that could deliver a four-carrier force by 2038, strategically placed before retirement of INS Vikram Aditya. Today's top three comments.